What's happening, everybody? This is the Traveling Salvation Show. Here, we renovate, we resell, and we travel around while we do it. Today, we are reselling. We are at Joseph's Coat, and we are gonna find some good stuff. Cross our fingers. So right off the bat, I found these two bats. Look like they're in pretty decent shape. I cannot find them looking them up right off the bat, no pun intended. However, I know they'll be pretty good, and they're definitely worth what they want for them. Two dollars. Yeah, it's definitely worth two dollars. I got some other stuff I need to look up here, too. I would normally get this, especially for six dollars, but the top has a split in it. And the numbers are really good. There's like 70 sold, 120 listed, but that split's going to stop me there. I'm not sure what type of military tactical belt this is, but I'm going to get it for two dollars, too. Probably. I might look it up before I leave. I found this vintage Made in USA Ralph Lauren polo jacket. There's one little thing right here, just that. That's the only issue I can find on it, but the numbers are really good, like 17 listed, 20 sold. Probably get about 30 bucks for that. Still hadn't found anything on the bats yet, but for $2, we're getting those. All right, so this is super nice. This flannel shirt is really heavy. I've never heard of it, C.E. Schmidt. The numbers are outrageously good, like 234 listed and 220 sold. And this heavy flannel goes for around 35 bucks and I, let's see what we'll pay for it here i don't know no more than like four bucks probably yep four bucks all right this is a saint john's bay it's really heavy flannel too i mean really heavy flannel and the numbers are about the same ratio with it again it's four bucks we'll sell it for about 25 30 really quick says i think there's 134 listed and one no 134 sold 117 listed very nice one though definitely that thing's nice the only thing i think that i did not show that i got was this lamp and i told you if you watched in the last video i was going to stop leaving these lamps behind because they are worth a fortune the last one i picked up was probably a 200 dollars 250 dollars lamp i don't know about this big brass one here it's really old it has some markings on it so it may be more or slightly less but i would guess that's a 200 hundred dollar lamp right there it's really cool lamp people may know more about it than i do but it is super cool quite not quite as cool as the other one but it is cool indeed or not quite as old maybe i don't know but for eight dollars i can't leave that behind did i pick up anything else oh yeah this jacket I almost left this jacket actually i showed it in the last video and it's an I, I got it. I could not stand it. I've been thinking about this lamp and this jacket for forever. And we went ahead and picked it up. This reversible Columbia jacket. We got it for half off, actually. Actually, we got everything just about half off. Look at that. It's reversible. And it's in such good shape. I got it for like five bucks. Could not pass that up for five bucks. A sweet vintage Columbia jacket. I may wear that. But again, everything was like five off. I mean five off. 50% off. Got these for two dollars a piece i think that's like 150 170 i don't know i'll look those up we'll figure it out the weather has switched up on us it has gone from cold to hot and we have switched up thrift stores we are now at the goodwill to see if we can find something there so far so good really good stuff at the joseph's coat usually do pretty good there it's very rare that we go in there and find absolutely nothing see if we find absolutely nothing at the goodwill found this shut s-c-h-u-t-t -T, face mask evidently these this is a really good name and face mask i just picked it up and took a guess at it some of these are over 200 dollars used this one i do not think is but it's definitely more than a dollar 69 i think i'll probably get anywhere from definitely 25 dollars up uh maybe 40 maybe 30 40 bucks but we'll see i'll, I'll try to get an actual value on this before the end of the video but there's a lot of masks to look through nonetheless definitely make money at a dollar 69 it was like four 460 listed and 483 sold i'm going to go ahead and grab this weightlifting belt too because it's a dollar 69 there's one listed used for 35 dollars and there's one sold for 10 bucks i can probably get 15 but again at dollar 69 i'll make money on it didn't get much in there but we didn't invest a lot either and we should get a pretty good return on that i'm really curious what that mask is worth Again, at least 25, 30 bucks. We'll figure it out. Maybe it's one of the $200 ones. All right, we're gonna stop at this small thrift store on the way to the Salvation Army and see if we can pick up. Price has been high lately, too high.
may have just found something. No, I can get about 30 for that one right there. Let's see here. What they want? 350? Yeah, I can get 30 for that one. Let's look through here and see what we got. That, that one might not be bad, Adidas. That Mizuno, that's kind of small. Another Rawlings. I'm to look some of these up. Another, another catcher's mitt. Let's see. Got a few. Got three catcher's mitts for 350 apiece. Got two Rawlings and one Mizuno. And 60, 40, 40. And about 120, 140 bucks worth of stuff. Just found this Patagonia Cinchilla vintage made in USA vest for $750. we will grab that. Eh, vintage Cinchilla tends to bring more. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, can be up to $100. So that's probably about a $30 vest, something like that. We'll see. This is really cool. I've seen these before. Skokum doll, something like that. It has a wool blanket around it. Get anywhere from $40 to $150 for one of these, and we'll pay $850 for it. This is really cool. I actually put the Patagonia vest back because it went for around $30, 45 tops, and it had somebody's name written in it, meaning they were going to buy everybody's vest before they bought mine. Rebecca got something pretty cool, though. I got some weird-looking Crocs. I've never seen these before. For $350, and I can get, like, 25 for them. The uglier they are, the quicker they sell. Uh-huh, and then I got a Nano Baby pacifier for a dollar and I hit it's not a big seller it's like five dollars and then I got an LL Bean vest for seven fifty and I could get thirty five for forty four that's a nice looking vest almost looks wool I not though look at a stain right there you can get that out there it's so dark in there yeah it's so dark all right salvation army uh, it's a little bit of a ride out here so I hope they've got something it's been hit or miss lately with the salvation army found these cool super cool vintage boots they have vibram bottoms on them i don't know i can't i can't tell what kind they are what brand they are but i'm gonna throw a high price on them see if some hipster buys them for a ton of money that in a flannel shirt that'd be hipstering it all night these are a little high but they're in really good shape and the sales rates are crazy it's like 150 listed 300 sold around 70 bucks we're gonna go grab both of these for 20 dollars each test them i'm gonna test them first even though they say they work yeah, it's a pair of air force one for 10 bucks but they have been selling really slow for me lately and only for about 30 bucks and i'm only gonna pick these up i think from now on when they're in excellent condition and in super white and these are not too bad they're close but i think i'm gonna pass them up for 10 bucks i would be able to get about 50 bucks for that but they want 24.99 but man that is super cool if you just saw it and didn't know what it was you would think you just ran up on a really expensive jacket you can get that for about 100 bucks new yeah for 60 40 used i got two things that you did not see on camera hopefully the wind is not killing us this is a wilson's leather adventure bound bomber jacket not all wilson's leather jackets do great they actually do pretty good better than i thought but this is a bomber jacket and bomber jackets usually always do good i can get anywhere from about 70 to 100 bucks for it it's in really good shape uh, you never get a good picture of this stuff back there but really good shape nice jacket large it would actually fit me it might may, may look good on me i might keep that and a remington hat i bought a remington hat and i think four bucks i can get about 14 for it 15. rebecca bought uh oral b electric toothbrush wherever it is <laughs> i paid six for it and i can get 35 to 40. spam there you are 35 to 40. no it is not groundhog day we are back at joseph's coat we're gonna see if we can get a lot of stuff going two days in a row to the same thrift stores. One would think that absolutely nothing would be there except for the same stuff, like Groundhog, Groundhog's Day, but we're gonna see. I'm gonna go ahead and grab the Yeti shirt for nine and the pants for four. So together, 13 bucks. I can get about 25, 30 for this, and I can get about 20 for the pants. So that'll still make us some money. Both of them are good, good sellers. I grabbed this out of the vintage section. 
thermo jack. This is a 70s little dress. I don't know what you would call that, but I'm going to grab it for $4 because I think that somebody would oh, absolutely love to have that little thing for maybe 30, 40 bucks. I'm not sure, but it's super cool. People buy this remade and this is the original. They want the OG. All right, you saw what I got in there. Let's see what Rebecca picked up. She got a... I got a Calphon? Cephalon. Cephalon lid for a dollar, and I could just get like eight dollars for it. I got some Ed Hardy shoes for two dollars. I could get twenty-five to thirty, and I got some Solomon shoes for two dollars, and I could get twenty-five for them. So not a huge score, but we did pick up some stuff. So we can't go two days in a row. Man, it is super windy and cold out today. We just, we just, we just, we just, we just two days. I found this Harley Davidson blanket or throw. I actually think it's a biter lac. We'll have to look and see, but nonetheless, for $4.99, let's see here. Yep, biter lac, Harley Davidson. I could probably get about 40 or 50 bucks for this. It's orange on one side, and black on the other one, of course. That's, I think, 310 listed and about 250 sold so that will definitely sell and it's a biter lac it's a name brand well the biter lac i don't know there's probably a lot more sold so i need to look that up individually just when i type in harley davidson blanket there's 310 ish 250 sold but a biter lac that's gonna go really good so for five bucks definitely gonna pick that up I just looked up University of Georgia coffee mugs and there were 90 listed and 50 sold and at good prices. Saw some taller ones kind of like this that were pink that sold for $26 each. I'm going to grab these for $1.09 because I think they'll do well. Just, just what they look like. They're in great shape too. So I think these will do really, really well. Oh, probably $20 each maybe, you know. It, no, no less than like 10 bucks a piece, but I think I'll get 40 bucks for the pair of these. $9.99 is steep for this. However, there, I've got like 100 sold and there's one listed. This will sell almost instantly for around 40 bucks. And depending on if mine's the last one left, because there's one listed right now for 37, I could probably get about 45. There was some listed 45, 50. I could probably get that for this. The History of the Church, Joseph Smith, full collection. $49.95 it says it was originally. Check out this owl. Man, I almost feel like I should buy that. It's so unique. You know what I mean? Whew. They had this over in the women's section. It's actually a men's canvas Eddie Bauer vest. Vests are hot. Vests are a thing. I did not know it, but vests are a thing. I can sell this for about $35. It's in really good shape. And the numbers are really good on Eddie Bauer vests, particularly canvas vests. So this one I saw sold for, somebody sold it for around 27, but I'll get 35 for mine. The wind hasn't died down evidently, and neither has our thrifting. We did really good up in there for going back to the very next day. Everything we got is really fast selling stuff and really good selling stuff. Uh, saw everything I got. Everything I got really does sell really fast. I'm, except, I don't know about the Georgia mugs, but I think they'll do really well also. Rebecca got some cool stuff. Yep. First off, I got this Vera Bradley bag for $4. They sell really fast, and I can get 30 bucks for it. And then I got two Anthropology coffee cups for $0.89 cent a piece, and I can get 10 bucks to $15 bucks a piece. And then I got this Babyless Titanium Pro straightener for four dollars and they sell super duper quick and i can get 60 bucks for it. that thing chromed out look at that what that yeah, thing's fancy thing. how many did you say were listed and sold there was like 60 listed and 200 and something sold that's like these books they were like i don't know there was like an endless amount of these books sold in one listed so that thing's gonna go quick and i got this yep. makeup i don't know nick's 
for a dollar and I can get 10 bucks for it. I thought it was a phone case. <laughs> and then these are for me. They're super cool. Man, those things are cool. Those are awesome. We're a small, independent owned, recently overpriced this store. Let's see if we can pick something up on the way to the Salvation Army. Hopefully can. Rebecca got a GameCube controller and she got some yeah. ba Bath and Body Works stuff for herself. How much for the GameCube controller? Um, I, I paid six fifty and I can get thirty for it. It's a really fast seller. I'm sure if I saw that and there was one sitting beside it that was a GameStop controller and I didn't look at that one. I saw the GameStop, I said, oh, those are GameStop controllers. Yeah. So I just passed that up. And then on this, I paid three fifty. I can sell, it's Bath and Body Works. I can sell the candle for like $10. There's two hand sanitizers and a little hand sanitizer pouch. I could sell those for about $10 to $12. And the spray and lotion, I'm probably gonna keep. <laughs> they, they wanted to price it higher. When we yeah. took it up there, they was like, oh, I wish I'd have priced this higher. Yeah. Prices have gotten crazy here. Salvation Army next day. Man, it is windy. You know, so far, it has been as big of a haul as it was yesterday. But it's been a decent haul. It's been worth it. So we're gonna continue to see. Rebecca got some discontinued lotion. Yeah. Which sure. does good. Mm -hmm. It does good. It's a Ruba Coconut Bath and Body Works. I paid $2.99 and I could get $15 to $20 for it. Man, always be on the lookout for that stuff. I can't tell you how many times I've picked stuff up for like 50 cent that was like $30, $40, whatever discontinued lotion. Always keep an eye out for that. I haven't been looking at that lately. Good nope. eye. Looks like it's not quite as good the day after. We've done this a few times and not on video, but a few times we've done this. And typically the day after you go is not as good as the day before. There have been rare occasions where we went in the next day to the same thrift stores and it was way better, but that's very rare. For the most part, it's just very hit or miss. Today was actually good, I think, for going into the thrift yeah. store back to back the way we did. So if you like it, folks, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, all that. Until the next time, keep thrifting and go to our website. Thank <laughs> you.